So why should people visit Koh Lipe today? Simply paradise. Crystal water. Lipe is probably the most beautiful island in the whole of Thailand. Good mango. <laughs> the weather is good and the people are awesome. You're missing out if you're not coming here. Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new video today from the Paradise Island out here in Koh Lipe. This island is one of the toughest to get to out in Thailand compared to the rest, but if not arguably the most beautiful due to the waters, they do deem it as the Maldives of Thailand. And when you get out to Koh Lipe, you're gonna wanna start your day or start your morning on Sunrise Beach. This is one of the most beautiful beaches out on Koh Lipe. I'm gonna show you a few more today. But yesterday, Rachel and I started our morning on Sunrise Beach. Meaty ended up getting his own swim. Absolutely love this beach, especially in the morning. It's pretty much all yours if you get up at sunrise especially. So grab your coffee, enjoy Sunrise Beach. And I actually stayed on Sunrise Beach two separate occasions, so this time actually staying at Idyllic Concept Resort with my entire family. Andrew and Paula's with us too. They hooked us up with a one bedroom, I think it's a spa bath suite. Beautiful room, we absolutely love how much space there is. One of the best properties on Kalipe, so it's actually right over here, Idyllic Concept Resort. Love this place. And also another thing to do out here on Sunrise Beach is to get a kayak, go out to Koh Unsen, which is that island right out there. I'm gonna wake Rachel up and we'll show you what it's like. Good morning. Good morning. Ready to go kayaking? Absolutely, even though it might rain, but let's get out there to show them how it is. Let's show them how it is. Hopefully that rain can't stop us. Hopefully it doesn't stop us. No, it won't stop us. <laughs> Straight away, my lady. Straight away. <laughs> you having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, so Ko Unsen, as I mentioned, is right behind us. This is a very popular destination or little island for mainly local tourists and a lot of tourists to take a kayak. And unfortunately, you can't explore onto the island, but this is really cool. A clear bottom kayak all the way to Ko Unsen. We're taking it around here. We have to be careful because it's kind of low tide, but you can see corals, you can see sea urchins through the bottom, which you want to be very careful because they're poisonous. And this watercolor is wild. And it looks like the rain might be clearing up right behind me, so hopefully you have a good day. We're gonna kayak a little bit longer and then we're gonna get out of here just shortly and show you what is next for the day. You guys ready? Ready! Ready! Let's do it. So one thing I also love about Idyllic is they have like the biggest gym out of all the resorts that I've ever traveled to. They have a three floor gym here with a rock climbing wall. It's amazing, I wish I was as inspired and motivated to work out. But right now we're jumping in a taxi. They have tuk-tuks around the island also that can take you to certain places. However, this island's small enough where you can just walk the entire island for less than 30 minutes! <laughs> And most of the taxi rides are around 50 Thai baht per person to get to most places. We got this guy for three hours and we're gonna have him show us around. You guys ready? Yeah! Woo! So guys, we made it, as I mentioned, to the walk street out here at Kulipe. You could literally walk about five to 10 minutes from our resort or most of the places on the island to get here. And this is the main strip or the little town or the little village, you could say. It's the walking street, which if you're familiar with Thailand, has lots of shops, massages, restaurants, souvenir stands, food, everything, you name it. However, based on arriving uh, mid-December or towards the end of December right now in Kulipe, I'd say about 50% of the businesses are still closed. So right now, while we're driving around, I'd say it looks like a lot of businesses are closed. However, after around 5 p.m., the other 50% of the businesses do open up. So we were walking around the very first day we arrived. A lot of people were out. A lot of food places were open. And this was around 6 p.m., 5, 6 p.m. I heard Zodiac Bar is open if you want to see a fire show. And I absolutely love Walking Street. So if you guys come out to Colipe, you need to check out the Walking Street. Not everything's open. However, you could still have a good time here. All right, so one thing I'm actually gonna do now, I'm gonna ask some locals, I'm gonna find some either business owners or maybe even some tourists, why you should visit Kalipe today besides getting the answer from me. So why should everyone visit Kalipe? Because our island is very beautiful. Everybody need to come to Kalipe. Good mango, sweet <laughs> mango from Thailand. The best mango okay. in Thailand? <laughs> Thank you. Well, Lipe is probably the most beautiful island in the whole of Thailand uh, because of all this, COVID and all this stuff, the locals here really need your help. They really need the tourists to come here and help the small businesses. You're missing out if you're not coming here. This is the time to come. This island has never been more beautiful as it is right now. So get over here. All 
Alright guys, so we made it to this little jungle cafe, jungle restaurant with a bar here. They have pretty much breakfast and only pizza. A lot of the restaurants or a lot of the food that you will find are a little more pricey. This is again one of the main islands or most popular islands out here in Colipe. And from what everyone said, why you should visit Colipe? The ocean, the waters, the tropical vibes. It was so much fun asking around why you need to visit Lipe and it's time to ask. You guys, so after being here, I'd say for two days, why should people visit Colipe? Water, number one. The color of the water is crazy good, right? Yeah, and also, I think this is the right moment to come because it's almost empty. So basically, you'll have this tropical paradise for yourself. So it's, it's amazing, an amazing experience. Yeah, come to Colipe, you guys. Come <laughs> and enjoy all of this. Right now, we're going to get some pizza. The pizza here is 350 Thai baht total. So that's around 10 American dollars, as I mentioned. The food that you will find for the restaurants that are open are a little more pricey. This is a popular island but the pizza should be here shortly I'm really excited to take you guys to the next spot because we're gonna jump in the water hopefully so after about a five minute bike ride we are on like the north west part of the island we made it to sunset beach now I'm on the beach I had to take my flip-flops off <laughs> oh beautiful and as you can see, Koa Dang is right over there. So that was the previous island that we're at, right over there on a Dang Island resort. But this is super pretty. Now, Colipe has pretty much three main beaches, Pattaya Beach, Sunrise Beach, and Sunset Beach, which we're on right now. Oh! All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know why my shirt is still on. I don't know why my backpack is still on. I'm gonna get in the water. Oh my God. It's really amazing. I uh, love it. I really love it. Yeah. It's amazing. It feels absolutely incredible, this water. And we have the entire Sunset Beach to ourselves. Another thing that you do when you guys come out here to Colipe is you snorkel or you dive. So some of the best dive sites in the world supposedly is in Colipe or especially in Thailand. We also did a snorkel tour from Koa Dang, which I'm pretty sure you could probably visit from Colipe, going out to Koh Dong, I think that's what it's called. Some of the most incredible corals I have ever seen. So Colipe is known for snorkeling, diving, totally would recommend it. <laughs> Love the vibes here, guys. Oh my God. But right now, we're gonna swim a little longer and then we're gonna show you guys one or two more things that you have to experience when you come out this part of Felipe. We got Ali back there too. Yeah. Made it in time for afternoon tea before. It was delicious. Hola. Oh my God! Look at this. They literally set this up for us right on Sunrise Beach. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. This is beautiful little dining table setup area. This is absolutely incredible. And it's not about the dinner that Idealic set up for us, even though it is beautiful. Wait until you see what Idealic also has in store for us. So besides this incredible dinner, this is the reason why you need to come out to Felipe for the fire shows. This is incredible. Ideally set this up for us, including the private dinner, this whole gazebo, and we have a private fire show that right now, Andrew's shooting, great movement. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Idea. Like it's been an amazing two nights so far. We have our last night tonight and tomorrow we're heading back to Phuket and heading back to Bangkok. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video on why you need to check out Kalipe today. You got the answers not just from me, but from a ton of people around the island too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full experience showing you things you can do out in Kalipe and why you need to come as soon as possible. The water's incredible. The whole experience out here at Idealic was amazing. So guys, if you enjoyed videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Like this video, it also helps 
my video gets pushed out more. Comment down below if you guys have been to a fire show or something like this and hit that notification bell and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you guys want to stay at Idyllic, which I totally recommend, one of the best resorts, again, on Kalipe. I'll put a link below to the website, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys.